Hello, I am Shakti. I am working as assistant professor in the Department of Nutrition and Dietetics in the KSR Women's College, Tirchambur. Today we are going to see the principles of nutrition. So let's see about what is nutrition. It is a science of food and the nutrients and the substance and its action, interaction and balance in relation to the health and the disease. The process by which the organism ingests the food and digest and how absorbs and transport and utilizes the nutrients and dispose the end product is called as a nutrition and the health is defined by the World Health Organization as that it is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease and infirmity is called as health. Nutrients. Nutrients are the constituents of the food. It is maybe a carbohydrates, protein, fat, minerals, vitamins and water. It helps in the providing of energy and structure materials and regulating the agents for the growth, maintenance and repairs of the body tissues. What is maybe nutritional status? It is a condition of the health of an individual which was influenced by how their body utilizes the nutrients. It can be determined by their uh, physical measurements that is anthropometric measurements like height, weight and then circumferences and then medical and dietary history that is a 24 hour speaker and then uh, some clinical examination was done by the doctor and then some uh, appropriate laboratory investigations like uh, blood analysis and urine analysis we can assess the nutrition status of an individual so RDA it is defined as a recommended dietary allowances it is defined as an average daily diary intake level that is sufficient to meet the nutrient requirement of nearly all 97 to 98 percentage healthy individuals in a particular life stage and gender group it was periodically revised and updated rda was in india has been modified taking into the considerations the guidelines given by the food and agriculture organization world health organization and then UNU and by the National Committee in the United States and United Kingdoms. It was revised by the Expert Committee of the ICMR that is Indian Council for the Medical Research. It was lastly updated in the 2024. And we are going to see about some major nutrients that is macronutrients. Carbohydrates. It was known by the name carbs. It is uh, sugar, starches and fibers. Carbs are the main source of fuel which gives the energy you need to function. When you eat the carb, it reaches the digestive system and begins to break down as the glucose or the blood sugar which was absorbed by the cell by the hormone called insulin which was produced by the pancreas gland in our body. If you have extra glucose in our body, it can be stored as a fat in your body and it can be utilized later when you undergo the process of starvation. And then protein, it is also another micronutrient. It is made up of one or more long chains of amino acids. It uh, performs various functions in our human body like catalyzing metabolic reactions, DNA replications and responding to the stimuli and providing structure to the cells and organisms. And then uh, the two major pancreatic enzymes that digest the protein in the small intestine are the crypto, sorry, chymotrypsin and the trypsin. And uh, this activates other protein digesting enzymes like proteases and together they work break down the protein into the tripeptides dipeptides and individual amino acids and fat it is a also another macronutrient it is a concentrated source of energy in the diet which gives one gram of fat gives eight to nine kilocalories whereas one gram of carbohydrate and protein gives the four kilocalories fat plays a major role in the inflammation blood coagulation and the brain development it also serves as a storage unit for the extra calories in the adipose tissue. It helps in absorbing some fat soluble vitamins like vitamin A, D, E, K. And the initial stage of fat digestion starts in the stomach where the gastric lipases 
hydrolysis is the triglyceride. It also further followed by the pancreatic enzymes and the bile salts. Then lipids. Lipids are the oily or greasy non-polar non molecules which are stored in the adipose tissues of our body. It is a heterogeneous group of uh, components which was made up of hydrocarbons which contains uh, hydrogen, oxygen and the carbon and data. So lipids also are energy rich organic molecules. It is also known by the fatty acids. It is a class of components. It can be categorized by the solubility in the non-polar solvent and the insolubility in the water. And it forms the mechanical barrier dividing the cell from the external environment that is called as cell membrane. Lipids are hydrophobic in nature and the lipids was digestion by the bile juice which contains the bile salts and it also digested further by the pancreatic lipases which is the most fat absorbing enzyme in our body thank you